Huge storm system set to make its way into the middle part of our country tomorrow. And so Brian Goddard joins us now with the impact that system will have on all of us here in southeast Wisconsin. Hi, Brian. Good morning. And yes, we will be impacted by this with a lot of wind starting this time tomorrow morning and for the next couple of days, including we get a little light wintry mix out of this as well. They're currently seeing some severe weather, nasty weather down uh, in Texas and along the Gulf Coast. That is from the storm system that will be tracking to our south. Uh, temperatures yesterday, despite the cloud cover in the mid to upper 30s, day above normal by just a little bit. We're still cloudy. Shocking. Uh, it is foggy out there as well and dense fog in some locations like Sheboygan at a quarter mile, a half mile in Fond du Lac County, two miles in Beaver Dam and about a mile and three quarters in West Bend. Then you get to Milwaukee. Yes, there's reduced visibility, but it isn't uh, too bad, especially a Racine and Kenosha at around five to six miles. There's a freezing fog advisory, however, to our counties to the north until 9 a.m. That is Fond du Lac, Sheboygan, Ozaki, Washington and Dodge counties. The reason for that, not only do you have thicker fog, but you also have temperatures that are slightly below freezing. That could create some slick, slippery roads, especially those side streets. Mild and cloudy once again today. Gusty winds return by this time tomorrow morning and throughout the day tomorrow and throughout the day on Thursday. And with that storm system that I was just talking about, a light wintry mix here in Milwaukee and could end up with a, maybe an inch of snow before it is all said and done by Thursday morning. And looking ahead, a warm Saturday on tap. So the winds are not going to be a factor once again today. They're easterly between 5 and 10. Tonight, though, they start to pick up out of the northeast, and by tomorrow, late morning into the afternoon, 20, 30, even 40 mile per hour wind gusts could see some gusts approaching 50 miles per hour tomorrow night as that storm system gets to be its closest distance to us, and we could see a little bit of light snow developing tomorrow night as well. Temperatures 33 in Milwaukee. Look at the temperatures in the upper 20s. This is mild, but when you have fog and mist and drizzle, as I mentioned, that could create some of that freezing fog. 29 degrees in Burlington, 32 in Kenosha. Around Washington County, temperatures Below the freezing mark, Newburgh's at 27, West Bend at 28, as well as Kewaskum, Hartford and Slinger, both at 28 degrees as well. We might see a little bit of sunshine before it sets later this afternoon. Otherwise, cloudy again, mild, a high of 41 degrees and a light southeast wind. Enjoy the light wind more than anything because it really starts cranking up tonight and throughout the day tomorrow and Thursday. There's that little bit of clearing later to this afternoon, otherwise mostly cloudy. By this time tomorrow morning, northeasterly winds at 15 to 25, and they will get even stronger throughout the day uh, tomorrow and on Thursday as well. You notice a little bit of light snow in the area by tomorrow evening and early Thursday. Could pick up maybe one to two inches of snow around Racine and Kenosha. Everyone else just a dusting before it's all said and done. The seven day forecast 41 and mostly cloudy today. Windy with that light wintry mix during the daytime hours tomorrow. Our best chance of snow is tomorrow night into early, early Thursday morning. Then clearing and windy on Thursday at 34 degrees, breezy and 35 on Friday. Saturday right now could be in the mid to upper 40s, but gusty winds and could see some more accumulating light snow Sunday afternoon into Sunday night. Tatiana. All right.